right, so if you haven't noticed, ever since the, the uh, government of uh, Shinzo Abe took over power, the nuclear issue here in Japan, not only Fukushima, but uh, the future of the industry in general, has been not even really talked about. It's been swept underneath the rug. Uh, current LDP government, not really talking about it. The big thing this government's focusing on right now is the economy, and they're trying to spur the economy, get it going. You know, they're doing lots of interesting things economically wise through government uh, actions. It's remain to be seen if it's ever going to work or if it's really going to spur the economy, i.e. higher wages, better living conditions, and more money and more of everything to go around here in Japan. That's what the government's promising. That's what we're supposedly going to get, but what we've already gotten is poisoned. What we've already gotten is four nuclear meltdowns. What we've already gotten is a country and a society in a free fall. A free fall of thought, a free fall of confidence, and a free fall of democracy. If you watched my other video recently, you saw that um, here in Japan, we don't have a lot of free press anymore. That's when out the that's when out the door. So we continue to have more and more problems here in Japan. And a couple of that, we have a government that's not want to deal with this problem. So what I want to bring up in this video is when will the Japanese government as a whole, from all political sides, from all different factions, decide that it's time to come together and really deal with this? Instead of just playing little games, bobbing and weaving the question, leaving the option of turning on all nuclear power plants back on in Japan, and look at things more seriously that nuclear power is not viable in this country anymore. It's not viable from a safety perspective, ethics perspective, um, practical perspective. And society in general doesn't want it. Yeah, we have these people who stand up and fight for it here in Japan. You have your detractors. I've dealt with them many times here in this country. But they don't really have an argument when we present some simple facts to them. Number one, we had four nuclear meltdowns. No country has ever had that at one time in their entire life. Number two, the area in Fukushima and the surrounding prefectures are still showing extremely high levels of radiation. When the government told us that within a year or two, radiation levels should go back down to normal and we should all be just fine, not really a big deal. It's still a big deal, right? Number three, the future of Japan and Japanese people. When you have this type of radiation poisoning on a massive scale like we've had here in Japan, you don't see it within two years. You don't see it in five years. You don't see it in ten years. Wait twenty years. Wait till these generation of children who are showing up with thyroid uh, growths. Wait till they get older. When you'll see in the hospitals the effect this is having on Japan and Japanese people. You can see the effect of us laughing about it and not taking it seriously. When I present those things to people, they don't have much to say. So, the pressure needs to be stronger and the pressure needs to be more intense on this government and all future governments in Japan. That this issue of Fukushima and nuclear meltdown or nuclear radiation, it's not going away. And this issue of changing the energy policy direction direction is not going away. You cannot just ignore it long enough and it goes away. Not this one. Not this time.